Welcome to IoT Watchdog, a tool in the form of a smartphone app that enables simple management of IoT devices on the home network. What you're currently looking at is the IoT Watchdog base view. It provides to the user basic information about the Internet of Things, confirms the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support of IoT Watchdog, and gives the user confidence that they're not alone in this daunting battle with technology. Now, let's open up the menu on the left side. Toward the top, we see options for finding and adding Wi-Fi and Bluetooth devices, both automatically and manually. Next, we're going to start an automatic network scan for Wi-Fi devices. This process will attempt to detect our router and prompt us for the router's credentials. The router will provide valuable information about the devices on the network. Also take note that the user is informed that the credentials are secure and do not leave the network. After probing the network, IoT Watchdog has found a single device, which appears to be an Amazon device. If there are more devices, by different manufacturers, they would appear in this list. Now, we have a list of Amazon device types. The device we want to add is an Echo Dot. We could also take the time to add more devices here that weren't detected, but we'll stick to the one for now. The next view asks the user to identify the device type variant. In the case of the Echo Dot, there are three variants. If the user needed help, an affordance is provided to the user on how to tell the devices apart. In this case, the user selects the black second generation device and moves forward. The user has now reached the last view for the addition of this device. A question about the location in residence is asked to make the device inventory easier to use if there are many IoT devices in the home. If a single device was detected, IoT Watchdog will automatically assign it the MAC address found. Otherwise, the user will be provided instructions on how to find the MAC address and enter it in the appropriate field. When the user taps the Finalize button, the device is added to the device inventory. While IoT Watchdog has detected and recognized the IoT devices operating in the user's home, determined what software is running on those devices, and determined the newest software version available, IoT Watchdog shines when it comes to assisting and facilitating updates. For the purposes of this demo, the user has added a D-Link DCS932L network camera which has critically out-of-date software to the device inventory. After adding the device and landing back on the device inventory page, the user can already immediately tell that there is an issue due to the error state icon. Looking through the device inventory details, there's additional messaging showing out-of-date software. When the user selects the camera in inventory, they are immediately shown a red error button at the top of the device inventory detail page, urging them to tap the button to initiate the update. When the user taps the button, they are led to a modal which details prerequisites to running the update, as well as the step-by-step -step process the user would need to take to complete the update. Once the user is completed, they tap the Done button, at which point they are prompted for the web camera administration credentials. The user is reminded again that their credentials are secure. The user enters the credentials and proceeds forward. A brief loading screen is encountered while the software validation is happening, but the software update was successfully verified and the risk mitigated. IoT Watchdog strives to be transparent with the user at all times. Following that theme, IoT Watchdog has a simple preferences window that allows a user to increase their privacy while using the tool. If a user doesn't want their device list and device fingerprint sent back to IoT Watchdog servers for analysis and algorithm improvement, they have the ability to opt out. IoT Watchdog has also provided additional transparency to users about how it completes many of its tasks behind the scenes. It can be found in the menu under How It Works. IoT Watchdog would like to thank the small group of user testers who helped out testing the application and provided very valuable feedback that was implemented for the final product. The audience members of this video are strongly encouraged to read the in-depth, detailed explanation paper that accompanied this video and abstract. It goes into depth about concepts not easily portrayed in short-form video such as this, including, but not limited to, how Bluetooth automatic detection would work, database build-out, tool scalability, and the additional tools, external network scan, and network weakness check. Thank you.